Hey, what's up guys? Jason, Veteran Custom Woodworks back again. Sorry we haven't posted too many videos, but we've been busy uh, making flags and making some new stuff. Today, we're gonna show you how I made a cutting board, serving board, whatever you wanna call it, uh, with matching coasters. Customer wanted matching coasters. So we're gonna show you how we did the board, the epoxy, and the coasters. So stay tuned, subscribe, share, appreciate it, thanks. All right, guys, we got a board, board from Lowe's. It's a teak board, it's 36 inches, and we cut this to size. So we went ahead, our mold is 18 by nine, and we're gonna cut a two inch gap in it, and you'll see there's the gap, and we've got the two inch piece here for later, and we're gonna use those for our coasters, but we don't want too thick a coaster, so we went ahead and ripped it in half, and now we have our size for our coasters. So there's the pigment that we're using. We put the wood in the mold. It's by Crafted Elements. Uh, my wife took her dumbbells downstairs, so I had to use kettlebells. There's our wood for the coasters. And we're gonna go ahead and pour our epoxy, one-to-one -one ratio. Uh, used a lot of epoxy on this one, so uh, we used eight ounces for the blue and then we're gonna get that done. And then we go ahead and stir it for about four minutes. Add our Black Diamond Pigments Iridescent Blue in there, stir it in, and start pouring. And so here's the satisfying pour of epoxy, making sure I don't get them on my kettlebells. If I did, who cares? Their kettlebells are gonna work out anyway. And then go to the other side and pour them. And there you can see the blue turned out great. And then we wanna get the heat gun and get rid of all those bubbles. So we go ahead and heat those bubbles up and let them pop. And then after it cures, uh, we're gonna go ahead and pour a clear top coat over that and get it as level as possible to the wood. This took a couple pours because it was two inches wide and about an inch or so uh, deep. So. Uh, took about 20 ounces of epoxy. There you go. Blue looks great. And let that set overnight. And then it's ready to come out of the mold. Here I just loosened up the sides. Um, I actually didn't need to spray anything down. Didn't need a mold release. Um, I'm making a new one. I sprayed the mold release today. So we'll see if that matters at all but uh, trying to pop it out here for you so you can see with one hand, but it came out easy. And then we sand it and I'll tell you how we sand it here after we make the coasters. So here the coasters are gonna be a three by three. So the wood is two inches with an inch of epoxy. Same deal, poured the epoxy in there. I think that only took one pour, uh, eight ounces across and we we're able to uh, get this done and then go to our table saw. So we're able to actually measure out six coasters. So I've got two extra for something else. And then you just set up your saw and be very careful and cut three inches. So it took a couple times with the epoxy. Uh, didn't want any kickback, but uh, it cut through fine. There you go. And here they are, raw. Uh, just cut Everybody was safe and then here's how we sanded both we did 180 220 320 and then we wet sanded everything with 600 uh, So here's what the coasters look like after we're done with all of that And then we're gonna go inside and go ahead and rinse those off before we put the oil on So real quick just rinsed off the residue dried them and then this is the oil I use and it goes on nice and it does darken the teak a little bit so you can just use your hand on it it's food safe just wipe that in and you know let that dry a couple days let it really get in the wood and here's our board the back and we put some feet on the back and there we go there are your matching board and coasters. So if you got any questions or anything, let me know. Appreciate it. Thanks. 